which appear in the Comic Weekly, the full-color comic supplement, which is delivered to you each week with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. Terror sweeps through the native villages of the Paguan Islanders as hungry flames devour their huts of grass. Death leaps from the muzzle of a silent gun and bores its way with lightning speed through the trembling body of a native boy. Karnak the killer has struck. Hot on his trail are the forces of law and order. Jungle Jim Bradley, dividing his little band of relentless pursuers, assigns Shanghai Lil to a waterfront cafe near the principal island. Major Breeze is assigned to play the part of a derelict bum, while Jungle Jim and Kolo make their way through the smoldering ashes of the burned native village, seeking some tangible clue that will lead them to the hiding place of the enemy of all the island, Karnak the Killer. At the waterfront cafe, Lil, disguised as a cheap dancer, is away on an errand for Red the bartender. She has been absent much longer than he intended. He's beginning to be a little anxious. Come in. About time you were. Oh, hello, Beef. Yeah, here's some more for the boss. More what? Boots. They came in on the boat this morning. What does he do with all these knee deep moccasins? Three new pair this month. What do you care? You got your money? He ain't smuggling anything in between the stalls or something. And if he was? I ain't objecting. I didn't think so. But he ain't. No, the chief's funny about boots. Always wears brand new ones. Hey, uh, where's the honey you was telling me about? The new gal? Yeah. <laughs> Out on a little errand. I thought you was her when you knocked. Yeah, I bet you were disappointed. <laughs> Where'd she blow in from? We don't ask no questions here, Beef. No questions, no answers. They come and go. Ain't none of my business except while they're here. How about the redhead? She's gone. The chief liked her. Yeah. He didn't send for her, did he? You know, you've got a bad streak of curiosity, Beef. I just wondered. I just wondered. Uh, I know. Well, you like the new gal. Chief hasn't seen her yet. She's handled a little job for us right now, but she doesn't know about it. I just asked her to check up and see if this here Jungle Jim and his gal friend Shanghai Lil are in town. Yeah, they are. How do you know? I heard the boys down in the dock talking about them. I think they're up at that big hotel now. I know they're here, though. Well, she'll have the dope. Snipper said he saw a car, too. Oh? Yeah. Thought maybe he was dead by now. Is the chief down on him? Well, he was sent to Singapore to mark off Jungle Jim before he got here. Claimed he did, but... Uh, the chief is slow in punishing this time. Yeah, maybe he has a reason. I'll skip. Yeah, wait a minute. Maybe it's the gal. Open the door! Yep, it's the chicken. Don't make any slips. Well, you ain't exactly what I'd call a fast worker. I never had no complaints. Well, you're getting one now. You've been gone for hours. Who's your friend? Four hours. Is this package? <laughs> Nobody bringing me flowers, this I hope. This is Beef Sanders, one of the boys. New entertainer, Beef. Hi. Red's been raving about your look, sister, and singing. <laughs> he gets paid for that. He can put feeling into those raves. Beef's all right. How'd you find out, kid? About? Bradley and Shanghai Lil. I covered the town. They aren't here. What? They aren't here. You didn't look very careful, maybe. I combed it with a fine-tooth comb. Every hotel, every place. And Jungle Jim Bradley and Shanghai Lil? Oh, not on the island. I wouldn't want to call you a liar, miss. I wouldn't want you to, mister. They happen to know they are here. Don't pay no attention to him. He just brought the... Boots? So that's what was in the package. Boots for the chief. He gets new ones all Look, the time. I ain't one to insist, but I'll repeat. Jungle Jim and Shanghai Lil are in town. You haven't seen them by any chance? No, but I'd recognize them if I did. <laughs> I wouldn't want to call you a liar, mister. I wouldn't want you to, miss. <laughs> What's the matter, kid? Don't let them worry you. I, I was just thinking of the boots. New boots. I read somewhere once where a man always wanted to die with his old boots on. These are for the chief. You ain't suggesting the chief is... I was just thinking how uncomfortable it would be to be buried in new boots. What was Shanghai Lil really thinking? Was she smoothly and suavely switching the conversation from the identities of Jungle Jim and Shanghai Lil... Or was she actually foreseeing the possible fate of the wearer of the new boots? Does Beef suspect her? Does he know who she really is? Across the bay on another island, another drama unfolds as Major Breeze, disguised as a wandering derelict, seeks clues in his search for Karnak the Killer. 
Outside the window of a small tavern where Breeze has been guided by a well-dressed half-breed, a tragedy has just taken place. The guns of Karnak's men have just passed death into the body of a native who now lies prone in the street. Sit down. Sit down. Nothing's <laughs> happened. Just a brawl. Sit down. Well, judgment thou art fled to brutish beast, and men have lost their reason. Yeah, that's right. Shakespeare. Omar Khayyam, whoever it is. Sit down. Sister Manel, hurry up those drinks. But yesterday the word of Caesar might have stood against the world. Yep. Now lies he there, and none so poor to do him reverence. What about that Mickey Finn? Coming right over. Okay, be sure and give him the one with the knockout drops. Want to keep his mind off the killing outside. Right over. Well, I guess I finally got a little action this time. Nothing like a little moisture to go along with poetry. <sighs> you know all the classics, I guess, huh? All of them, my friend. I created the characters of most of the great Shakespearean roles. A few have preceded me, but none surpassed. Hey, you don't know that great classic Casey at the Bat. Mr. Casey at the Bat? I am the man who struck him out. <laughs> Gin and better. Yeah, right here. And yours. Well said, my good and faithful friend. A toast to the lad lying dead in the street. May the man who killed him soon share his fate. Forget that stuff. Nothing happened out there. Here, a toast to Casey. The outlook wasn't brilliant for the Mudville Nine that day. The score stood four to two with but one inning more to play. So when Cooney died at first in battle, this was saying, a sixth is We'll sit over here, Cor. Two straight. You did a good job, fella. Better go quick. Soldiers come, maybe. They don't know who did it. With that silencer on your gun, nobody knows where the shot came from. Maybe better go. Just saying. Ah, uh, cut that stuff. I told you I'd take care of you until the chief cooled down. But you gotta do something for this protection. Chief, never forget. We can make him forget. When I tell him all you've done for the cause, he won't even remember about the mistake you made with Jungle Jim. Chief. Never Now, look, forget. wait a minute, wait a minute. I said I'd take care of you, didn't I? Well, I have a few ideas up my sleeve. Cash, please. Cash, huh? Don't trust us. That's a good plan. You might not be here to collect tomorrow with stray bullets breezing around. You want to wait and pay some other time? I thought maybe we'd have these two on the house. Okay. On the house. These white-livered half-breed car. You know, you're in favor of the chief because you reported to him you'd kill Jungle Jim when you hadn't. Koa think he kill. Koa shoot. Jim fall down. Koa sure dead. So come back, tell Chief. Yeah, yeah, but he wasn't. Him and the Major almost beat you back. Chief, never forget. Look, I was just thinking. Maybe the Chief would forgive you if you took another shot at Jungle Jim and this time made it count. Koa not see him since he come here. That's right. Hiding out from the Chief like this, you won't get to see him either. But with some more practice, like you got today, I figure maybe I can find where Bradley is. Plant you someplace where you can quietly settle an old score. Yeah. Maybe so. Sure. What's the matter with you? I'm telling you of a way to get you back in with the chief and you aren't paying a bit of attention. I'll bet you didn't hear a word I said. What are you staring at? Two men. Front, by window. I'll forget him. The big one works for the chief, but he won't bother you. I know him. Other man. Just a bum, an old beachcomber. He was dragged out of the street while you did the shooting. We didn't want any white witness. He no beachcomber. Not drunk. Go and know him. What? Quick. Go, go. Maybe he won't call. Who is it? Who is he? Quick, come. Go away. Go and know. He, he, Major Breeze. The band is playing somewhere, and somewhere hearts are light. And somewhere men are laughing, and somewhere children shout. But there is no joy in Mudville. Mighty Casey has struck out. <laughs> Mighty Casey has struck out, but what of Major Breeze? His disguise, penetrated by the wily Corps, who formerly served as his manservant on the expedition to Singapore, Major Breeze will surely find himself in the merciless power of Karnak the Killer, whose lieutenants have unwittingly been taking care of him as a beachcomber and derelict. Deep in the heart of a nearby island jungle, Jim Bradley and his faithful Hindu servant, Kolo, stand witness to the hate and revenge of the cruel Karnak. A native village burned to the ground, charred bodies scattered about. 
A single pole standing, topped by a smooth, ghastly skull, and nailed to it, a sheet of bark bearing the ominous words, Karnak is king. They told me the man we were after is a white man. But I can't believe it after seeing this. Head hunters. Tuan Jim Chi. Yes, C. maybe working in the name of Karnak. See, native's arms bound, left to die in burning hot. Mm, their heads were severed first. Uh, it was headhunters, all right. Bad man. But maybe Karnak was in on it. Tuan Jim think headhunters make sign Karnak is king. Colo, you have a pretty smart head on you. Of course they didn't. I was a fool not to realize that instantly. You know what this means? Burn village? See, over there on the hill. The grain they had planted. Colo, see only black. Well, see, down there by the water hole. The dead cows. Uh, water hole poison, yes. See, look at those poor devils over there by the trees. More natives tied in lots, places where grass huts burn. That's right. All of them. Their arms bound between them. Their heads gone. Do you know what this all means? You mean Karnak be very bad man? It means just that, Colo. And just the way you said it. Colo, say it how? This is for us, Colo. For us? Karnak knows we're after him. This is a warning to us. He wants us to see that skull on the pole. Uh, think maybe he scared Jungle Jim. He burned their grain and poisoned their water hole to remind us he didn't miss anything. Uh, why Tuan Jim think Karnak do this for us? Maybe he'd be very mad with village. And if that were all, he wouldn't have put up that sign. It's written in English. Natives couldn't read it. Oh, yeah. Karnak is king. That's why we're here, Kolo. Because he isn't king. Now, seeing what a heartless animal he is, we have to get him. Juan Jim think he'd be native? I'd like to, Kolo. I'd hate to think of a white man involved in a terrible thing like this. Kolo no see women and children. No. He let them escape. Uh, when airplane bomb city, women and children killed also. Oh, it's a terrible world, Kolo. Civilization is an awful thin veneer. Karnak may be a white man. What? What Juan Jim see? Look. Look here in the soft ground. This track. Is that... Not be native foot. It's a boot print. And it isn't ours either. Look. Look here. Come down close. Mm. Good thing ground muddy. Print clear. And that isn't the only reason it's clear. That was a new boot. A brand new boot. See? Look at the clear cut side. The heel. Even the nails. Why, you can almost make out the trademark. Very good track. Colo, that track was made in the last few hours. That's a new boot, and a white man is wearing it. Too big for a native foot. Come on. Let's follow this. You think maybe we'd be close no, no, to them? No, too close now. Not too loud, either. We may be closer than we think. They may be watching us now. Mm. From the trees on the hill there. But, Colo, wherever they are, we're going to find them and get Karnak the killer. Shadows in the grove on the top of the hill. Smoldering fires where grass huts stood. A slender naked pole with a grinning skull and a sign reading, Karnak is king. Poisoned water holes, burned grass fields and charred bodies. And then in the muddy ground, a boot print, clear and sharp. New boots on a white man's foot. Boots that crush out life. This is the setting for the next chapter in the exciting adventures of Jungle Jim. Follow the adventures of Jungle Jim on the air and in the full-color action pictures, which appear in the Comic Weekly the world's largest supplement containing the best full-color comic and adventure stories. Follow your favorites, Jiggs and Maggie, Barney Google, the Cats and Yammer Kids, the Little King, and the exciting adventures of Flash Gordon and Jungle Jim. All these and many others are to be found in full-color action pictures in the Comic Weekly, which comes to you with your Hearst Sunday newspaper. More thrilling radio adventures of Jungle Jim will be heard at the same time next week over this same station. Be sure to tune in. Mm-hmm.